Phyllis. How are y'all? Excuse me while I frog this yet again because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing the other night as usual. So you're crocheting along, watching somebody's video and made it too big. <laughs> So, how's it been going for you? Hey, Elliot, how are you? Hope everybody is doing well. Yeah, well, you know, it happens. And this is one of the things that's nice about crochet is that you can just frog it and it's no big deal. You can reuse what you have to pull out. And just keep on going. Hi, Rajul. How are you? Hope everything is well down in Austin. I know it's been rainy, rainy here. Has it been rainy down there? Yeah, I'm going to have to completely redo this section, I think. Hi, Robert. Welcome. So I'm a little um, down tonight, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Nana passed away this week, uh, who is my best friend's grandmother, um, on Monday. And I will be leaving on Friday morning um, to head home. And we're going to have her funeral on Friday so if I am not my usual, well, okay, let's face it. I'm not bubbly, but if I am not my usual cheery self, um, please forgive me for that because it's been a long, hard week already and it's only Wednesday. So, but we're going to get over that. <laughs> um, hi, Amanda. Welcome. Thank you so much for your um, pointing people in the right direction earlier today in Ella's group. Um, I really appreciate it. Your hands look like you were caught red-handed doing something naughty, but you were helping Granny decorate some cakes. Okay. Did you get um, food coloring all over your hands and now you can't get it off? Is that what happened? Hey, Therese, thank you so much. Yeah, you know, guys, it's um, this is the third death in six months, and I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, but like all my, my elderly people are just dropping like flies and I can't handle it. So, but that's not what Wednesdays are about. Wednesdays are to cheer each other up and to encourage each other. Rachel, hello. How are you doing? You can absolutely knit with us while we all crochet. Um, I think Therese is at a basketball game and I'm sure some people are probably diamond painting instead. And that's okay. So we're all just going to kind of hang out and chit chat for a little while. And hopefully you leave feeling better than when you came. Because that is always my goal. Yeah, so Amanda, they did, uh, the lady that you were talking to actually did go ahead and request to join. So I, you know, went ahead and added her. And then there was another lady as well that added that I added earlier today. Um, so hopefully they will uh, go ahead and sign up and all that. I have not checked. Um, I figured I'd give them a little while to kind of get all the information from the group. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the retreat a little bit. Um, it, yeah, you know, Teresa, it really, really does. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so Robert's working on diamond painting. Hey, Mickey, no problem. Work and lurk away, girl. I've been I've been lurking a lot um, in a lot of lives. I haven't even said a single hello or anything. I've just been hanging out um, this week because that's what I could handle. And I'm all about doing what you can handle. Um so yeah, that's what I've been doing quite a bit of. Hey, dearly, how are you? 
Okay, so retreat. We did in fact get the um, space. Um, it is secured. I did send a check. The lady actually wanted a check instead of a PayPal. So I sent her a handwritten check. Um, <laughs> I was shocked, but you know, that's that's what she wants. That's what she wants. So we are good to go there. Um, we currently have, and you know, I should have got these numbers beforehand. I believe that we have um, 18 people on the actual roster registered. Um, 14 of those, I believe, have paid their money, have paid their deposits. Uh, so we're good to go there. This building will only hold 20. So once 20 people have put in their um, registrations, I will cut off registration um, until, you know, if somebody doesn't pay a deposit or something like that, then I will open that uh, spot back up. But once you're on the registration, then I'm going to um, assume that that is your spot. And then once you deposit, then that spot is definitely secured for you. Um, so going forward, I've been working today on the t-shirt designs and i'm kind of getting some ideas for what we might like to have for our um exclusive diamond painting for the retreat so we'll talk about all of that on the 20 if somebody will look on a calendar the 28th i believe is the last saturday of the month and in our facebook group for the retreat i was planning to do a live that morning for our monthly um, retreat roundup. And we'll talk more about those kinds of details there. Yeah, Elliot's got his spot for sure. Um, no problem, Jennifer, just whenever you can can. I know a couple people have mailed um, money orders. So I'm just waiting on those to get into the mail to me, but I haven't received any yet. So yeah, a lot of people have um, gone ahead and, and paid their deposits. Some people have already you know, been making like payments as they get paid, they make a little payment and that works great. Um, I'm doing a really good job I, so far about keeping track, making sure everybody gets a receipt and all of that kind of stuff. So um, we will go from there. Um, we're gonna start doing our challenge boxes as well. This month, I will give you your first challenge and I'll kind of explain a little bit more about what those are, are and how they're going to work for the retreat. And we're just going to start getting excited about it. So let me go back. Lots of people are saying hi. Thank you, Allie, and welcome. <laughs> J-Rob is going to dance all the way to Texas. So bring your boots, girl, because we're going to dance while we're here, too. Uh, the 29th is the last Saturday. So on the 29th, um, if you are in the, the retreat group on Facebook, then I will be going live on Facebook. And we will talk about the details there for our monthly retreat roundup uh, video. You can ask your questions. We can talk about designs, T-shirt designs, all of that kind of stuff. All of the news is there. Those of you that ever know that. Um, yes, please do hit that like button. Let's see here. Somebody said, um, yeah, I want to go, but I can't afford the airfare. I know a lot of people are having that issue. Um, I really thought the airfare would be cheaper this far out, but I know like Southwest. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize I wasn't even in the frame. Um, Southwest isn't even booking flights past August right now. Dang it. Doing it again. Where is hold please? Where is my just go ahead and put a stitch marker down here so I don't keep making the same mistake. Yeah, it's called the Lone Star Retreat, but I think the name on Facebook is still the um, Retreat at the Ranch, I believe. So, 
Uh, this blue alley is called, it is Red Heart, and it is called Real Teal. You can't see that. So it is Real Teal by Red Heart. It is one of my favorite colors um, that they have, and it's actually more teal colored than what it looks like. On my phone, it looks correct. On my computer, it looks blue, blue. So let me set this off to the side real quick. And let's see what I've been working on this week, because I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is the first time I've touched that blanket in about five days. I have been obsessed with cross stitching. And I've been reading. I'm trying to I'm trying to balance my craft a little bit more. Uh, trying to um, just make sure that I'm taking care of myself as well as doing the YouTube and all of that kind of stuff. So this is how far I've gotten. This is the Letters to Hogwarts crochet along, or no, no stitch along. Um, I did do a couple of different things this week. Last week you saw this in a 17 by 17 frame. And it was just too big. It was unwieldy. Um, so... I went to the store on Saturday. No, I went on Friday night and I got um, the 11 by 11 frame and I already had the eight by eight. So this frame is actually the two combined and it is an eight by 11. So the end pieces here are the eights and the long pieces here are the 11. So I was able to make two frames and honestly, this is like the perfect size for me. I can hold it in my hand. So when I go to Memphis next week for uh, St. Jude, I'm taking this one with me and I will be taking a different project. This one's just got too much extra fabric on it for me to lug it all the way to Memphis. This stand is amazing. It is working great. You can see I have my needle here on that magnetic strip. I can show you I can actually um, flip it. I've been flipping it this way to sew my ends in so I can see the back. So you can see that. But yeah, I've been really, really obsessed with the cross stitching. I've been having so much fun with it. It's super relaxing. I'm just really burned out on diamond painting right now, guys. So I have not been diamond painting. I have not touched a diamond painting since the DPathon. That's how like, burned out I am, I am on it. So um, thank you so much, dearly. Uh, my new lamp, aka Coffee Everything Rusty Gets came this week. That's awesome. This lamp, you guys, uh, for those of you that weren't here last week, I got, and it's part of what's lighting my um, whole situation up over here today. Let me see if I can, I think I'm on the cord. Yeah. So this is a lamp that I got last week. It is the magnifying lamp. It's got the bright LED lights on it. It is um, both a clamp and a stand. So you can see I can unclamp it and, and clamp it to something, which is what I have been doing. I have a TV tray that I work on. And so I've been using that at the actual, at my actual station on my couch. But this lamp is a freaking game changer. Like, I can't even tell you guys. Rachel, where is your fabric coming from, girl? You've been waiting on that fabric for forever. Phyllis says she may have to uh, drag out her stamped cross stitch. I haven't worked on since 1998. Do it, Phyllis. Robert says you have about 10 more colors to do on the dog diamond painting than I have about four more to do. Yeah, so basically I have ordered, or well, I've already purchased. I didn't order it. I purchased um, three diamond paint or not diamond paintings three cross stitches they're the hogwarts houses and it's an artist that i hadn't seen before on um etsy i found them on etsy and they are 11 by 8 finished the whole finished piece it's full coverage and they were buy two get one free um, so I went ahead today and put my order in at Michael's because at Michael's, you can put your order in and then go and pick it up in the store. So I went ahead and ordered all of my, um, floss. 
I ordered some more ADA. I'm going back to the 14 count ADA because as much as I love the 18 count, I can't, I cannot stitch on it without my lamp and I can't take this lamp with me to Memphis. So um, this Phyllis is a Q-snap and it's a combined Q-snap. It is, um, the, the sides are eight inches and the top and the bottom are 11 inches. And so that's my new frame. So what I'm gonna do is put my fabric in and then I'll take this with me to Memphis. And I also ordered some bags, some project bags that are not necessarily for cross stitch, but I will open those when I get them. They should be here tomorrow. Um, and I will show you guys how I'm gonna use those. It's like a whole set of them. So I'm pretty excited about that. So that was one of my wins this week was getting that done. Um, I did go and get a haircut. So I went Saturday morning. Guys, I haven't had my haircut in about three years. So um, I went and got my haircut. I took off four inches. So I got basically what's called a long bob. And um, it went from the, oh, what do you call that? The small of my back up to about two inches below my shoulders. So, and I'm like, I feel like a new woman, no lie. I'm super happy with it. The, um, the guy that cut my hair was fantastic. He was such a doll. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. It's up today because it's been raining. Of course I get my hair cut, right? And he straightens it and it's so pretty. And then it rains for three days. So <laughs> I wasn't happy about that part, but I'm super happy with my haircut. My hair moves again, which I know sounds silly, but um, you girls will understand what I'm talking about. When your hair gets too long, for most of us, it gets heavy and you don't get the movement and the body that you want out of it. So my hair is, is kicky and flirty again. So, you know, it's it's been a whole like Paul Mitchell ad up in my house for about three days now. So, yeah, so that is one of my Wednesday wins. In fact, let's go ahead and put that up and we will talk about our Wednesday wins. So my Wednesday win, the first one was um, getting the swirl done on my cross stitch. <laughs> I did lose weight, Rebecca. I probably lost a good two pounds just cutting my hair off. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been flipping it and running my hands through it and all of that kind of stuff. So that was my first win. And then my new Q snap frames came in, which is great. Phyllis, yes, these are for cross stitch. So it's exactly what I have on, on here. This frame right here, this is what I have my fabric stretched around. And then it's secured into my uh, stand. Good Lord, I can't words today. Um, over here on the side. So you can see it's just clamped down in there. But yeah, that's what that Q-snap is for. Yes, Q-snaps. And those are just the, my, the ones I have are the Loops and Threads brand from Michaels. They're not the actual Q-snap brand. They're knockoffs. Um, hello, Rebecca. The other Rebecca. And uh, so, yeah, so haircut, new Q-snaps, which I absolutely love. I got my swirl done last night, my red one, which doesn't sound like a lot. But you guys, I'm like slower than molasses at cross-stitching because I'm still fairly new to it, but we're making progress. The lamp is, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how much of a difference it makes. And you could definitely use this lamp for diamond painting and things like that. I think a lot of the, the people that have trouble seeing, even with an, um, I really can't words today, guys. Even with a light pad, uh, the lamp would definitely help because of the brightness and because of the um, magnification. So, yeah. So, there we go. Um, Brian Elliott's Wednesday win is getting a good bit of the diamond painting done. All right. We always like it when we're making progress. So, for those of you that aren't aware, 
Wednesday wins are our celebration of any accomplishments that we've had this week, whether they be small, such as I didn't throat punch somebody, or I got out of bed today, and that's all that you can handle. That is a win. All the way up to great things are happening. I got engaged. I didn't get engaged. Don't freak out. Um, to, you know, anything like that. So big and small, anything that made your day, that made a moment, that made you smile. I want to hear about it so that we can celebrate with you your accomplishments, your wins. So this last week, look back on it. What were your blessings? What were your accomplishments? And let's chat about it. So in the scheme of things, a haircut is a very small thing. However, the amount of sass that it has brought is a thing. <laughs> so Brian got some done on his dearly crafted Wednesday win. Is she upgraded her internet? The hamsters are going to retire in comfort. Yes. Finally, y'all, Dearly's internet was so flipping bad that she couldn't even, like, I couldn't do anything. A five-minute video on her internet, which literally would take me about two minutes to upload on mine, would take her two days. It was redonkulous. So that is a huge, huge, huge win for Dearly. I am so excited for you, girl. Therese says Teddy is a lot is still alive, so that's good, right? That is a Wednesday win. Listen, we get it. <laughs> Your kid is not, you know, he's not on drugs. He's doing his thing. He's still alive. He goes to school every day. He's reasonably happy. That's all you can do, right? That is a win. Absolutely, Therese. So Rachel's Wednesday win is she did yoga today and it's been a hot minute. I've decided to do 30 minutes each day. That is awesome, Rachel. I love doing yoga. It's so relaxing. Um, you're going to feel it tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. But that is definitely a Wednesday win. Congratulations. So let's see here. Crafting journey with Rebecca hit five hundred subscribers that is a big number you guys and i said it last week i will say it again we always want to celebrate everybody's wins and that is a big big number so congratulations to rebecca make sure that you guys check out her channel she is doing some really great things um over at crafting journey with rebecca and i am so proud of you for hitting five thousand i or five thousand wow 500. I knew that you could do that. And I'm super happy for you. Let's see. Keep going. Seriously, dearly. <laughs> so Robert's Wednesday win is you got a new home to live in. And you're going to be able to get a cat. I love little kitty cats. Okay. That is awesome, Robert. And another Wednesday win for Elliot is a coworker at work didn't bother me today and I didn't have to throw a puncher. There you go. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I love it, Elliot. <laughs> it's always a good day. Uh, Rajul is planning to book flights to Mumbai. That is awesome. Are you going to get to go this time, Rajul? Are you going with your husband this time? And your son for your son's engagement. Congratulations to him and to his fiance. Welcome back, Phyllis. So Mickey did not throat punch her roommate, even though he dropped paper on her canvas. Oh, oh my. That is a Wednesday win. That's definitely a Wednesday win. Do you get all your paper off? <laughs> Hopefully you did. Because I know that is not a fun task uh, to get paper off of a uh, sticky canvas. So, yeah, so I did buy a couple of new cross stitches. That's what I'm going to be working on the next few weeks um, until I get my diamond painting bug back. Uh, for right now, I'm just doing things that make me happy. 
Um, Rajul says he's going to go first, and then I will go with your two sons. Okay. And Mickey Sunshine is still working on getting it off. Oh, man. I know it can be done. It just takes lots and lots of patience and lots and lots of um, cuss words, probably. I mean, that's what happens at my house anyway. Um, the two do go hand in hand. Just so you know. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So next week, um, I will be here on Wednesday for our weekly Wednesday live. Um, I will, however, not be in town. Um, we get back on Saturday night, late on Saturday night. So they're taking us. Uh, we're going up to uh, Memphis, Tennessee, which is where the hospital for St. Jude is located. And we'll be doing our leadership conference there for the walk runs. So I will be doing that. I will be getting you guys some video footage. I will try to be better this year about getting pictures and posting those over on my Instagram so that you can kind of see what we're doing and where we're at and all of that kind of stuff while we're there. Um, I will get the duck march for you. We're staying at, okay, so let me back up. I know I've talked about it before, but some of you may not know. Um, in Memphis, there's a hotel called the Peabody Hotel, and it's a historic hotel in historic downtown Memphis. And I can't remember the exact story, but basically what happened is these two guys show up way back when, and, um, they had ducks with them, live ducks, like swim in the water ducks, you know what I mean? And they, um, oh, good night, Therese. Say hi to Teddy for us. Um, so basically the guys check in and there's in the center of the lobby of the hotel, which is now like a bar and a lounge area, there's a, there's a fountain with water in it. And the ducks went into the water and were swimming around. Well, the guys just kind of up and left and left the ducks there. So the hotel basically has supported these live ducks and they've had live ducks ever since. I will try to get this all on film for you. So one of the cool things that happens is the ducks have a minder. Um, they have, you know, kind of a, their own little servant. And dang it, again, uh, they come down in the elevator in the mornings, the ducks and their minder. And they have a red carpet from the elevator to the fountain and the ducks will waddle down the little red carpet and they'll swim around in the fountain all day. And then in the evening, when it's time for them to go back to their roost, they all go right back down the red carpet and get in the elevator and they ride the elevator up to their roost where they get their dinner and all of that kind of stuff. So I will do my best to get that for you on film. I cannot guarantee the audio quality of it but I will get the duck march for you guys on film, but we're actually staying in the hotel this year. Um, our rooms are there where last year we stayed across the street. So, Oh, no problem. Odd, but nice. You're good to go girl. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so that'll be a lot of fun. And then, you know, what I can get for you, I will get for you. So yeah, so Memphis, um, we'll go to the hospital. I cannot film in the hospital. I actually won't be going into the hospital this year. Um, but I will film like the grounds outside, some of the memorials and some things like that for you. Um, and just different things along the way. So if you have something in mind that you want, um, I think we're going to go down to Beale Street, which is where all of the bars and they play the blues music and all of that kind of stuff is. So if you want anything there, let me know. But yeah, so we'll be doing that. Uh, we fly out Thursday and we fly home on Saturday evening. Okay, so does anybody else have any other Wednesday wins for me? The Peabody Ducks, you learned about them from the Gaithers. Yeah, <laughs> they're pretty famous. They are, in fact, pretty famous. Any other Wednesday wins before I move on? Because we've been on for 30 minutes. 
here. And I've just been chit-chatting away. You're back home from working. Oh, my goodness. Odd but nice. That is a win. Back home is always good. I know I'll be ready to be back home. Um, I will be traveling. Like I said, I'll be leaving Friday morning for um, home, basically. You know, a little bitty town out in West Texas. It's about a five-hour drive, so I'm going to leave out of here at 6 on Friday morning um, to make sure that I can get there in time for the funeral. And then uh, we will come home on Saturday more than likely. So, Rebecca, I will not be in your Saturday night live unless we get here, you know, pretty early in the day. We'll have to see how the weather is and how everything happens on Saturday. But there's a chance that I won't be there, at least not for the whole thing. Um, am I going to sell stickers like I did last year or no? So this is actually a question that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I haven't made any new stickers um, for a while, for a hot minute now. Uh, last year, those of you that didn't know, I raised, I, I had made some stickers. Um, they were kind of like inside jokes for different channels, little sayings that we have in the diamond painting community, all of that kind of stuff. And I sold them for donations, basically, um, to St. Jude. And it worked amazingly. Everybody in the community really stepped up, really supported um, that. And we managed to raise $405 for St. Jude from me doing those stickers. So if you guys want me to do the stickers again this year, I'm absolutely happy to do that. Um, but we would have to make new stickers. So I would need you guys' help doing that. What would you want to see on a sticker? And I know it'll be easier when you actually have examples in front of you, which I don't actually have at the moment. Um, I sent all of mine that I had printed out um, to people. And so, um, you know, let me know how that works. If that's something that you would want to do, I'm okay with doing that again. Or we can come up with a different way um, to raise money for it. That's up to you. And that may have to be a later conversation. Once we get back from Memphis, we'll kind of have some more details. You didn't get your hands on any last year. Okay. I see, I see. We'll see what we can do. Because I still have all of the templates. I do have one for J-Rob that is um i have one for rachel specifically and there was somebody else i think it was sister addiction no it was diamond art addiction that asked me for one so i'm working on a vibe tribe one for her and a couple of other people i think so i have some of those that have not actually been introduced but i do have them so I need to get those out. So, yeah. So we'll talk about that a little more later on. Um, let's go to the segment I like to call News from the Twos. If I can make it work. There we go. So news from the tube. So I know that dearly would love to see new stickers. You're going to have to brainstorm on what would be a suggestion. Um, so I know like uh, we do have a diabetic turtle one already. Um, I know that we have, sorry, honey, my finger slipped. Um, we have some that I will definitely be putting back in rotation if we do it. And there are some that I won't be. Um, some that will be retired. And um, 
I think who was it? Cal had one. Uh, she said something. Put on your positivity pants or something like that. Cal uh, Crafts, I think, is what she is now. And I absolutely love that. I don't even know what I'm doing over here. Look at me. I'm just, just not paying attention, guys. <laughs> so yeah. So we can brainstorm. If you have an idea for a sticker that you would like to see feel free to send it over to me and I will see what we can come up with um, for those. And we will see about getting those out. Um, I'm not going to be a regular seller with a store and all that kind of stuff. Um, I just have too much other stuff going on to um, put in the dedicated time that that needs. So this would be only for a limited amount of time. So they're going to be pretty exclusive stickers. Um, for you guys. So we'll talk about that. Um, okay, so news from the tube. Let's see what kind of news we've got this week. I know that Crafting Journey with Rebecca is having a color street party in her group. So you can go over and order your color street nails there for her from her. And she and GB Maltese are also doing a collaboration for Treasure Studios Arts. Um, she has a giveaway, uh, for that, or they're doing a giveaway type of a thing for that collaboration. So you'll have to watch both of their channels to get the information on how you can enter all of that. I won't give away everybody's secrets. Um, so that's definitely happening on her channel and she also hit 500 subscribers and I think she's doing a giveaway for that. Is that correct, Rebecca? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Treasure Studios Arts is going to have a reward system by the end of the month. And they are working on making their images available as both paint by numbers and diamond painter, uh, diamond paintings. That is correct. Rebecca did have a uh, crafting journey with Rebecca did have. Um, Rachel from Treasure Studios Arts in her live and they did a great interview. So if you want to get some more information about what's coming down the pipeline from Treasure Studios Arts, please go and check that out. That was from last Saturday and it was a live stream. So she gave us, Rachel gave us tons and tons of really cool news and information and all of that kind of stuff. So it's definitely worth a watch. Let's see what we got. So Brian wants no drama llamas and DAC inhalers and spill the tea, sis. Okay. Um, a piano diamond because I play the piano. I'm a little confused on that, Phyllis, but I bet if we talk about it, we can figure that one out. Uh, let's see here. Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moment hit 2,000 subscribers. She's doing a giveaway. I don't know if that's still open or not. Um, but she and Maritza from Kiss My Crafts are um, also doing a collaboration and they're doing a Hannah Lynn diamond painting collaboration. So I think it's just a diamond paint along kind of a thing. I don't know if they're giving away any prizes or anything like that. I am really, really out of the loop, you guys. I've been um, basically hermiting all week long. Um, so please forgive me. Please don't take it personally if I'm not in a live or if I'm not somewhere that you expect me to be. Um, I just needed some time. So, yeah, mental health. You got to take care of your own mental health. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that this week. And like I said, I've been in some lives that I haven't said anything and just kind of lurked, but I am out of the loop for a lot of things. So Tia from Tia's Diamond Addiction, I think is uh, going to be live tonight. She's always a riot. So please go and join her if you would like to do that. She goes at 10 Central, which would be 11 Eastern time. And then uh, Rosie Posey Crafts, who I love watching. I've, she's one of my original channels that I found. Um, 
she has come back to doing lives after a pretty bad health scare. So I was really happy to have her back. She does lots of fun uh, quizzes and things like that. So I went in this week and I actually won her quiz. And um, it was just really great to have her back. She's a very sweet lady. Um, she's been on YouTube a lot, a lot of years. And um, she's just rocking it out over there. So we have Rosie Posey, Diamond in the Rough. Got some really cool news this week that we can celebrate. So those of you that don't know, Fee over at Diamond in the Rough um, has gone on a couple of vacations. And she has taken these amazing wildlife pictures. And she's had them turned into um, uh, diamond paintings. So custom diamond paintings. And she did them through DIY Moon or Die Moon or however you want to say that. I don't know what the correct answer is. But she had them done through DIY Moon. And they contacted her and said, listen, somebody was interested in buying one of those custom paintings that she had. But because it was her picture, um, they had to have her permission to do it. And DIY Moon has decided that they are going to allow those to be purchased. And Diamond in the Rough will be getting a commission from each of those that is purchased. So I know she's done a leopard and I think she has like a lion and I can't remember the other ones, but she's got some really amazing pictures that she has taken that are available in DIY Moon and she will get a commission for her own artwork. That is a really cool thing for, for DIY Moon to do. Um, I thought I just thought that was a really upstanding cool thing for them to say hey somebody wants this if you want to do it we can and we'll give you a commission for it because it's your artwork so bravo to diy moon i have not purchased from them just because of the shipping prices um but everything that i see tells me that that is a great company so i'm very excited for them and for diamond in the rough so congratulations on that and kiss my crafts also hit 350 subs this week so <laughs> that's the news i have so let me know you guys if any of you have channels or you know of things that are happening please let me know so that we can talk about that as well um i'm scrolling back up to see what all i missed Odd But Nice is the linking queen. She does a fantastic job. Thank you so much, Odd, for all of your hard work, making sure that everything that I say that comes out of my mouth, which is very random sometimes, is always posted for everyone to have. I'm sure that you don't get to rest or have any kind of fun during lives because you are grabbing links and all of that kind of stuff. I do appreciate it. Um. Okay, Robert went to play darts. Robert, thank you so much for coming. You're probably long gone, but I appreciate it. Yeah, Treasure Studios Arts does have some really cool new, they have a new artist that did have uh, put up some new um, artwork. And I think they have another one coming up pretty quickly. Um, a deep year of the month sticker. That would be really cool. So Crafting Journal with Rebecca wants a gnome. I think we can probably do that. Yeah, I do got a life. And, you know, some days, you guys, I know. So here's the thing about YouTube. Is we come on here. And we're not being fake. But you put out this persona. I don't like going to channels. And it's just like, woe is me, you know, Eeyore type of a attitude. I want to go somewhere that we're going to have fun. Somebody that can laugh at themselves doesn't take life too seriously, all of that kind of stuff. And that's the kind of YouTuber that I personally want to be is, you know, someone that, you know, you can come on here, we can have fun, we can celebrate with each other, all of that kind of stuff. And so, um, you know, I don't remember where I was going with this. Oh, but I get into these, I'm an introvert. Honestly, I am truly a homebody. I am an introvert. I love being at home by myself. And I know how bad that sounds, but for my own mental health, for my own life, sometimes I just want to read a book. I don't want to talk to nobody. 
I just want to read a book. I know some of y'all probably get in that same mood um, as I do. If you just want to read a book, you want to do something. Um, you know, where you don't have to socialize and all of that kind of stuff. So like I said, please don't ever get offended or anything like that. Drama llamas, DAC inhalers. I have a DAC inhaler already. And spill the tea. I don't have one of those. But I can get one. Frog. All right, let's go back down here. Yeah, Diamond in the Rough became a licensed artist. I thought that was really cool. Um, okay. Yeah, the Fantasy and Blacklight body paint. I thought those were really cool. They're not really my thing, but they are cool, and they're, they're fun to look at. Um, my girl wants to party all the time. Party all the time. <laughs> Um, not quite party all the time. Like I'm going to party a little bit and then let's like chill on the beach for a while. Right. <laughs> That's the kind of party I'm at. Okay. So on your channels, those of you that have them, I think Elliot said he was doing a collaboration with diamond art addiction. I believe that I saw that. Uh, does anybody else have any news from your channels that you want everyone to know about? Well, what kind of news do you got? Are you doing something fun? Are you doing something cool? Do you just want people to come hang out with you and have a good time? Then read a book after the party. Like, listen, you guys, some days I get home from work and I am just like, I can't people anymore. Yeah, like I'm on house or exam. I'm staying home like I'm on house arrest. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. I actually finished a section. Yay. Military police and firefighter contribution of one of the black light pieces. Yeah, I really do like the black light pieces. It's not necessarily something that I would want to maybe hang in my house. But I do think they're really cool pieces. I really do. So, and I think she said, I believe that she said that there should be another new artist coming pretty soon as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm remembering that correctly. So Miss Rachel Ray is starting the painting by DAC called Jesus Blessing on March 1st. And if anyone don't, wants to join, she's going to use hashtag Easter DPAL. Doesn't have to be that one, but I've had a few requests and want to do it for grandma. No problem. That's really cool, Rachel. So Rachel is going to be doing an Easter DP along and it will start on March the 1st. First. Yeah, odd but nice. Some days I can't people anymore. Like, I love people. I love humanity, but some days it's hard. <laughs> some days I gotta love me instead. Um, yeah, if that's the one that I'm thinking of, it is really cool. And I really haven't seen it done very much. Um, I've seen it a couple of times, but not really um, like you see a lot of the other uh, diamond paintings from DAC. Oh, also, Rebecca, see if I can do this without spilling water everywhere. If you can see that cutout where my name is, that M with my name on it, this was done in vinyl on one of those Cricut machines. So that's one of the things that you can do on there is you can cut vinyl for things like that. Um, so seven day challenge issued by Nana of seven crafts. Is that the seven videos and seven days challenge? Cause I'm probably not going to participate in that. <laughs> I'm 
not going to lie to you. <laughs> I put up links, then said, which is which in the next comment because I used up all the space with the links. No problem. Yeah, go ahead, Rachel. Absolutely. I trust you to post links in my channel. Don't be put don't be putting that naked cowboy in there though. I heard about that. <laughs> I've managed to avoid it so far. <laughs> I would like to keep avoiding it. I mean it could be fun on a Saturday after I've had some wine, but on a Wednesday, it's just too much. There you go. <laughs> Another sticker idea. I'm allergic to adulting for reals. For realties. Um, I'm trying to think. See, this is why I only go live for an hour because I think I only have like an hour's worth of stuff to talk about. And then I run out of things to say. So what cool things are you guys going to be doing this week? What is everybody, I guess I could have started, what is everybody working on? So I've been working on cross stitch mostly. Um, I did, you know, work on this a little bit where I messed it up and then had to frog it at the beginning. So I'm still only on, let me show you here, if I can, move all the things. So I'm still on the very start of my third row, you guys. I know, I'm the organizer for this. I'm the creator of the pattern. And that's as far as I've gotten. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm one of those people. I've got to be in the mood to crochet and I just haven't been in the mood. I've been obsessed with cross stitch instead. But there we go. There's it's eventually going to get to the end of the blanket. I do have you guys up a little higher. How is that angle working for you today? I feel like it's a little bit easier for you to see things. So there's the other end. So my goal this week is to get to the other end, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I need to be on at least row four by next week. So it is 10 people posting seven days in a row and it will be playlisted. I don't know why I have enough to say for to post for seven days in a row. I do still owe you guys a couple of videos. I know I owe you um, my craft space, how I created that. And I owe you, um, I think I've got two unboxing videos and there will be another one tomorrow. So I hope you guys like the stuff that I bought because you're fixing to get to see a lot of it. <laughs> I kind of buy, does anybody else do this? Some people are really consistent about buying, but I'm one of those people like I get into moods and I buy a lot and then I don't buy for like three months. Maybe that's just me. So Rachel is knitting a shawl and you spent today practicing stitching on linen, but now your eyes hurt. Yeah, I can imagine. I've got some linen in the drawer that I was going to play around with. And I think it's a 28 count. And I was just like, mm, I'm going to pass on that. I'm still a little intimidated by it. So I'm just going to stick with what I've got. So, yeah. Dearly was working on coloring today. She was working on coloring today. And rotating between that and a bunny diamond painting. You mean that one from last year, Dearly? <laughs> that you got after Easter? <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Rachel. I love those dark colors. This is going to go into my room. Um, I love jewel tone colors. 
So, and this is actually, I think you can see it on the computer. It's actually a darker lavender than what it looks like, but that's actually lavender there. Brian is still working on his custom. How much more time do you have on that, Elliot? Odd but nice is mainly working on blankets, but you have love from DAC coming in and you're going to work on it as your first DAC square. I will say this. I've done several DAC squares and it is sublime. Honestly, sublime to work on. Uh, the eye strain after the beaded cross stitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the Ada. I like the Ada. Maybe it's because I'm comfortable with the Ada. Um, the one that I'm using for the one that's on my stand right now is 18 count. And I'm actually really liking it. Um, I did get the 14 count for the um, the other cross stitches that I'm going to be working on just because that's what it called for. And I know I can do it without having a magnifying lens. I have to have this magnifier to work on that 18 count. For sure. So, but it makes a huge, huge difference. So if you guys are struggling with that, that is something that you can definitely do. Um, I'm going to start working on my blue swirl tonight, which is next on the list for that. And then um, go tomorrow night and pick up my supplies. So I but nice is moody like that. Her wallet likes the working time, not the buying time. Exactly. So I already have my tax refund because I filed way back in like the middle of January. Um, so I have been doing all those things that I've been saving up for. Um, I purchased some new booties. Um, I purchased like, that sounded really bad, like shoes, the little booties. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, got some of those. I have ordered new cross stitches, purchased new cross stitches. Luckily, the threads, a lot of the threads cross over for multiple ones. So you only need it for 100 stitches, but you have to buy the whole skein. Luckily, I can use it for several projects. So I'm going to start building up a stash of thread, just like I have a stash of diamond painting drills. Rachel's been wearing magnifiers, but I want to get a lamp like mine. I love this lamp. Um, the base is sturdy enough that it will sit um, on the table. So like when I'm sitting here, it works great. But my um, table that I work on on the couch is not actually big enough for it. So I just clamp it on the side and it works great. Yeah, exactly. I knew Dearly Crafted would go there. So five months and 22 days. Wow. And I know it's huge, Elliot, because I remember seeing the picture of it. I know it's huge. Odd But Nice wants to get some beaded cross stitch, but you're going to wait for a sale. I, where are y'all buying your beaded cross stitches? Because I have not found one that I'm just super crazy about and willing to spend 40 or $50 on without being crazy about the design. Does anybody know if Sister Addic or if uh, Diamond Addiction is going tonight? Because if so, I want to go ahead and wrap it up. But if not, we'll kind of chit chat for a little bit longer. I won't rush to say goodbye. Although I seem to be losing people tonight. That's okay. <laughs> Anywho, so that's what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cross stitching. Do you guys want to see cross stitching videos? I know a lot of you are diamond painters and a lot of the YouTubers have gone to cross stitching videos as well as diamond painting videos. I not I don't want to necessarily follow the crowd, but I really have become obsessed with it. Um, Dearly's been trying to find them. No, she's out for the week. Okay, thank you, Mickey. That's what I thought. Um, been trying to find beaded cross stitch on Amazon, but has been challenging to find lately. Beth Minton has some of her mud available for sale. Is that the new stuff? Um, Beth is shine like a diamond. Is that correct? Am I getting people all confused again? Yeah, that's what I thought as well, Phyllis. 
Okay, so Rachel wants to see cross stitch. I know Rachel cross stitches, so that makes sense that she would want to see cross stitch. I just, without diamond painting, you guys, I don't have video footage. And I honestly can't make myself diamond paint right now. I am so, so, so burnt out um, that I just look at it and I'm just like, no, I don't want to do it right now. I'll get back to it. I eventually will get back to it. But um, right now I'm just not interested. I'm ready for something different. I've been enjoying the crochet. Um, I do have to work in small sections because of my shoulder. Uh, my shoulder locks up when I do it too much. Um, and then, like I said, I've been obsessed with the cross stitch. So if you're okay with seeing cross stitch videos, I can show you cross stitch videos. <laughs> A different Beth, but yes. Okay. Good night, Rebecca. Have fun watching Survivor. I'll see you later. Thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll do that. So this week I've got a couple. Oh, okay, I understand. It's it has been a hard week for you as well. Um this week I'll try to post maybe tomorrow. I'll go ahead and post one of those unboxings that I have, uh, some of the goodies that I've gotten. And then, like I said, I'll get some more stuff in the mail tomorrow and I should be back, you know, early next week with something as well. You just finished a big DP with 10 soldier and then did the Grinch before that. Yeah. And I literally, I had not stopped working on one. For a long time and Grinch and, and Tin Soldier. Oh my god, y'all. I did that. That was like the worst plan ever. I'm gonna get it done before Christmas. Listen, <laughs> I overestimated myself just a little bit getting it done before Christmas. I finished it the day after Christmas. But yeah, and it is Diamond Art Club, and I did enjoy working on it, but trying to meet that deadline was not so much fun. So um, I'm going to continue working on my style, um, my stitch along, and my new ones, and I will, I guess, talk about those. Maybe we can talk about all the stuff that I feel stupid for not knowing <laughs> as a new cross stitcher <laughs> that I've had to ask people, and they just kind of roll their eyes at me. And then they tell me all the things I needed to know instead. <laughs> yeah, 50 by 60. See, 50 by 60, I feel like is a good size, but maybe that's just me. It's a little on the large size side. So, anywho, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to eat dinner and I'm probably going to sit and stitch for just a little bit. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, like I couldn't figure out a lot of different things with stitching um, two over one and how many threads do I use and, you know, all kinds of different things and like what kind of why does the count matter and all of those things. So I thought it might be kind of a fun thing to just be like, let's laugh at ourselves and just be like, OK, listen, somebody needs to explain this a little bit better. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me on our Wednesday um, get togethers. I will be back at, uh, some point this week. I'm sure I will see you in some different places. Um, thank you so much for being here, for supporting each other. Uh, please remember to hit that like button before you leave. Um, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and ring that cowbell over on the side there. So you get all the notifications. Uh, good night to everybody. So let's see here. Good night, Odd But Nice and Rachel and Dearly Crafted, Miss Phyllis and Elliot and Rajul. And thank you all so much again for coming. I will be back with you, hopefully with some new stuff soon. So I've ordered quite a bit of stuff. I feel like I've just been spending money, money, money. Um, but that's okay. So I will see you guys soon. Good night, all. Be careful. Um, be happy and don't forget to smile at least once a day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.